I think it was probably in October when uh, Alex and Neil Smotherman came with me out to the S Clan. Our plan was to play for them. Uh, they're not comfortable coming up before dark, so we decided to take a short walk around and peruse the area. And I noticed this limb about 12 feet up from the ground that had been bent over, which I found curious because there was no scratch marks or anything on the trunk. Then Alex noticed there was another limb above there that was bent down. You can't really see it in this video. So I waited until the leaves had dropped later in the fall and came back and filmed and while I pan up this tree you will notice that there are more limbs that are bent down and this particular tree I think was climbed by one of the youngsters from the top of this tree they could get a good look at us where we set up to play for them. You'll see right there uh, that's a good look at all those limbs. Some reaching down to the next and then the next. <laughs> now as I walk back to where we set up to play for them I found other trees in this wide circle and this is an area that they utilize for listening to the music. It's only a few yards away around a bend in a log road. And so they feel safe there. They can hear us quite plainly. And in fact, we can hear them too. Uh, the young one is quite vocal. Has to <laughs> call out to us after we've uh, played a set. Uh, expressing his or her uh, pleasure with what we've done for him. And so we decided to... All right. So uh, Russell Wilson uh, had this little teddy bear he found at a garage sale or somewhere. And uh, we placed it in one of these trees. It was a gift for them, but they left it. They didn't touch it. Uh, I had to take a picture of the teddy bear off of uh, Russell's phone because I failed to videotape it when he brought it out there. Just lingered in that tree for, for several weeks. So I finally decided, well, we need to move it so that they understand that it's a gift to them. So I moved it behind this, this gift stump here. And while we were doing that, by the way, we could hear them just a few yards away have a little conversation. Uh, so I told him, well, this is a gift for you. Well, the next time I went out, teddy bear was taken. And here is some uh, broken trees that are quite close to where they were uh, playing in those, those other trees, bending the limbs over. I think this is the, the border. This, they don't want us to go by this border. In fact, when we approached these two broken trees, we heard a a snap, uh, some some snaps, uh, possibly to warn us that hey, we're here. Please don't come any any closer. So here are some more of those bent over limbs, all in the same area. Uh, and this particular one, which we found just before we left, you'll be able to see that there's new growth above the bent over limbs, which. It's about two years old, two years growth. Well, that's just about the time that we started going out to this clan and playing for them, very close to, to where these are. And like I said, I wasn't able to find any other trees anywhere like this, with the exception of one tree that's about 15 miles from that clan. And here it is. See the bent over limb, and as I pan up, you'll see the top of the tree has been broken off. Well, this is a young one, obviously, uh, helping his or her father uh, 
uh, create a border and uh, that is just a few yards away from this and that's about 10 or 12 feet up in the up in the tree